Hi, I'm Meteor Group meteorologist Paul Knightley. I'm going to take you for a quick trip around some of the winter weather we've seen over the northern hemisphere in the last few days. If we start across North America, we saw quite a nasty snowstorm last week across Northeast America. And we've seen another one over the last few days, for example, spreading in across the Baltimore, Washington DC and New York areas. What we can see here is a deep area of low pressure. And if I put the temperatures on here, you can see some pretty mild tropical area just ahead of the system. But coming in behind it, down from Canada, has been some much colder Arctic air. As those two air masses combined with all the precipitation, we saw some heavy snowfall across that area. Let's move closer to home now, though, and have a quick look back at the, uh, Europe and the British Isles. And we saw some pretty cold air coming in from the east over the last few days, and that's going to continue. So once again, if I put the temperatures on there, out across Russia, we see temperatures well, well below freezing out here, very cold Arctic air. And even across the London area, we've seen temperatures not far from freezing by night and below freezing uh, in the daytime across northern parts, above freezing elsewhere. And this is thanks to a huge area of high pressure in the atmosphere, which has held the Atlantic weather systems at bay. They usually come in and bring us mild, windy weather through the, the winter months. This year, however, repeatedly we've seen the high pressure holding these at bay. And of course, that's kept the cold Arctic air over us. And if we come a little closer to home, we can see across the southeast of the UK, we've seen some pretty heavy snow showers over the last 24 to 36 hours. Here they come, a little area of low pressure in the North Sea, spiralling snow showers down across southeast England and East Anglia, and eventually they line up with the wind here. So we see the showers going over the same place, training over the same place for up to 24 hours, having given 10 to 15 centimetres across parts of Kent. So some pretty heavy snow and also some drifting of that snow. If we just take a quick look though around the other side of the world, obviously it's summer in the southern hemisphere, and as you'd expect at this time of year, very warm in Australia. Temperatures in the mid to high 20s and indeed in the 30s in places. And of course in Western Australia, across the deserts, even getting up towards 40 degrees at times. So a lot of cold weather around in the Northern Hemisphere, but the summer's really taking hold in the Southern Hemisphere now, with Australia really beginning to bake in the heat. 